Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I use 5 minute to win it games in the ESL classroom. Basically, ignore the time aspect and add an English task at the end. The apple I laid every day. To start, create two teams and set up two tables where they will complete tasks. On each table, there should be one whiteboard, one eraser, and markers for each student. In front of the room, make a grid for each team on the board. Students for each team sign up for a game. They won't know which one until it's time to play. Beside this, I have envelopes with different English grammar tasks inside. After each minute to win it game, the students playing will grab this and take it to their team. The first game is Elephant March. You'll need four bottles for each team filled with different amounts of water, color-coded to remember the volume. A pair of pantyhose for each team to wear as hats with a tennis ball in one foot. Tie a knot to keep it in place and cut off the other leg if you want. Set up the room like this for the two teams. Students should start near the whiteboard. Remember those envelopes? Here are examples of the tasks inside for this first game. I tell students to keep their hands behind their backs and a hint is to hit high on the bottle instead of low near the ground. Game number two is junk in the trunk. You'll need two tissue boxes covered in duct tape for durability, seven to 10 ping pong balls for each box that should have letters taped or written on them, two belts with notches along the length of the belt, and on the box, you'll cut two slits in the bottom to slide the belt through so students can wear them. Students will shake until all of the balls are out. As they shake, their teammates should pick up their balls from the ground, not mid-air, and take it to their table. For this game, the English task is to unscramble letters to spell a superhero. What other letters do you have? Okay, good job. This game is called Tilt-A-Cup. You'll need five or more clear solo cups and 10 ping pong balls, half in one color and half in another. Okay, slowly, slowly. Students should bounce and catch one ball using one cup, then stack another cup on top and repeat without tipping their cups over. Three syllables. Okay, three syllables, yes? Yeah. Oh, no. Count. Just count. Uh, how many? Three. No. The name of this game is called Moving On Up. You'll need 20 cups per team, and the last one should be a different color so you'll know when you've gone through all the cups. Choose a word or a sentence and divide it into different parts and put each part in a random cup. To 
student should hold the cups in one hand and move the bottom cup to the top or the top to the bottom. Just make sure the students are doing the same thing. And they should use one hand at a time. Okay, go to your team. The final game is This Blows. Each team needs one balloon and 10 to 12 solo cups depending on the length of your sentence. I use song lyrics from a well-known song I knew students were familiar with and put one word per cup. Set up two decks like this and make sure to mark the cups differently for each team. Students must use the air from the balloon to knock over all the cups. After all the cups are down, their teammates can pick up their team's cups. Write down all the words. Oh. Write down all the words, okay? That will make it easier. Anyway, Okay, how many words do you have? 11? Yes, it should be 11. Okay, how many words here? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one more word is missing. And that's it. I hope these games were helpful for you. They are really adaptable to many ESL lessons, so I hope you have fun with it. For more on what it's like teaching in Korea, click my blog link in the description box below and subscribe for more ESL activities and travel videos.